this is Amelia from BCPL's Parkville branch here today to tell you about the process of naturally dyeing fabric with turmeric powder. Now turmeric powder is the powdered root of a flowering plant in the ginger family native to India and Southeast Asia. It has been used as both a dye and an Ayurvedic medicine for centuries, as well as in cooking. In Hinduism, it is considered auspicious and sacred, and in Buddhism, Buddhist monks would actually dye their robes with it because it was so easily available. For our purposes today, we are going to need two pots, preferably aluminum or stainless steel, as other types will stain from the turmeric powder, a large mixing spoon, some measuring cups and spoons, white vinegar, and of course our turmeric powder, and then some fabric. Now, any fabric will do. However, I recommend natural fibers like cottons because they take the dye better. And you're going to want to wash the fabric once before starting to dye with it. So in our first pot over here, we are going to make a vinegar mixture in order to prepare the fabric to accept the dye. Now you're going to need one part vinegar to four parts water. So for this much fabric, so see, not, not too much. I am going to go ahead and put one cup of vinegar into my pot along with four cups of water. I am going to turn this up to a boil. Once it reaches a rolling boil, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer and put my fabric in. I'm going to let the fabric simmer for about an hour. Now, about 30 minutes before your vinegar fabric is done, we can go ahead and start the dye bath. So for our dye bath, we're going to need two tablespoons of turmeric powder. So here is the turmeric powder. See, isn't it just, it's just so beautiful to me. To four cups of water. And I actually have already put that in to our pot and started the dye bath. So I am going to turn that up to a boil, and then once it gets to a boil, I'm going to reduce it to a simmer for about a half an hour. And once you're ready to take your fabric out of the vinegar solution, just go ahead and use your large spoon, bring it over to the sink, put it under some cold water to get the vinegar out, and go ahead and put it in your dye bath. You're going to want to leave it in your dye bath for about 30 minutes at a simmer, stirring occasionally. Now, once it is done in the dye bath, you can go ahead and take it outside and hang it to dry. Now, this is my absolute favorite step in the dyeing process. I just think seeing freshly dyed fabric hanging on the line, blowing in the breeze in the sun is just really beautiful. So after that process is done, once the fabric is dry, you're going to want to wash it one more time with some detergent and water and then rehang it to dry. And this is going to remove any excess dye on it. And so once you've done that, voila, you have your turmeric dye fabric all ready to use. Now behind me right here, I have some pieces of fabric that I have already dyed. I have some cotton muslin, I have some felt, and some cotton yarn. So depending on the fabric, you're going to get like a rich uh, yellow color to a mustard color. So they're all beautiful variations to me. Now I hope you enjoyed this activity today. I know I've completely fallen in love with the world of natural dyeing. It's so vast and varied. Literally every ancient culture has a history of it. This is a great activity to do with kids too, by the way. And the library definitely has some books in our collection on this topic. All right, happy dyeing. Mm -hmm.